Hi, and welcome to Sass TV. My name is Pauline Bez, and this is your two-month reading. And I want to personally thank you for joining me. And I hope things are going good for you. This is me and your me in your first time meeting. And I want to thank the person that referred you to me and your friends. Thank you, guys. I know you guys are all family members. Thank you, thank you. I'm Belen, and um, this is my third channel, uh, The House of Elements, my other channel. Um, will be probably coming up back real soon and then my original channel where all my work is and all that wonderful awesome content that people know me by hopefully that's going to be released um hopefully it's going to be released soon and and i'm banking on and i'm putting everything i got on it i need that reference channel um and, and and if it doesn't i'll just recreate another one you know this is something easy for me so this is your two month and your two month is Mm -mm. Nope, I ain't even nothing that. So, this is what's currently going on or what's currently going on. There's some, there are some new th things that you're thinking of. It's someone that you are around, excuse me, it's a male. Excuse me, I'm sorry. There is a male around you that you are questioning his motives and what he believes. And for some reason, it's like y'all don't match. I think it's the personality clash because I don't see any issues. Now, there are some non-trusting things. I think he comes off as, thank you, Jesus. And then he could be really, be, he could have a freaky side or something. But that's all a part of personality. You have to balance those personality traits in order to, you know, you have to love people for who they are. But there is something secretive going on with this, with this individual. Now, I bet you're probably wanting to know, does this person love you? We're going to get to that, okay? I can't tell you that till I get to the end of the reading because I already see what's going on. Now, I feel like there's going to be some kind of reconciliation. I feel like there's going to be some reconciliation. So let's go ahead and talk about what I was going to say. This man that's around you that you feel y'all don't match, I feel like he is distances apart from you when the well, it's just that personality doesn't click. There is no true love with this individual. He's waiting on something from you. Or this could be someone that is using you. Or this could be someone that is trying to sit back and wait to see what you bring to the table. Okay? This is this is probably already been seen by you because we're going to the 10th of the month. Because it's showing by the 13th some kind of reconciliation. Or it's not like you beg and you need to know. But you don't need to know anymore. Think back right quick. Just think back right quick, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So, there's some kind of changes in a in an old relationship. These cards are talking about your oldest son or your son, or there's someone with speech issues. There's something with speech. There's something with mind not lining up with words and tongue and lips. Um, it's talking about your son. I, I don't know who your son is. Something's not coming. Something's not coming out. I don't know if there was a stroke or something's not coming out. Some communication is not coming out. It just screams, not coming out, son, not coming out. Let's get back to this two-sided guy. Now, there is a guy that's around you. He does love you. He just can't get it together. But he do. He does love you. He's coming back in. You guys are going to, gonna, you guys are going to just start, things are going to start happening between you two. I keep hearing Charles C. H A R, excuse me, R A L E S Charles. There is a Charles around you. I don't know if this is him, but there is a Charles, uh, something with three weeks and Charles. Please be remember that. You have excellent cards. Also, with the up time, upcoming month, see you all. So this is where you are. You are not in a lonely place. You are in a place of making decisions. You're in a place of making decisions. Whatever unexpected happens in the month, please do not let things that you can't answer quickly make you think and worry. Execute, ma'am. When something comes up, like something unexpected comes up, make a decision. Don't go to bed with it. Make a decision about it and keep it pushing. Just make a decision, good or bad, and keep it pushing. And the reason I give you that advice because we tend to go to bed with our issues and then we wake up and we're feeling fresh and we go in the bathroom and that thought hits again and that could delay 
the way we get to work. That could delay our time. On get, that, that could delay anything. That can delay what we're going to do. That can delay your happiness. That can delay your positivity of the day. That can delay you telling someone thank you for opening up your door. Everything affects your, your, your about. Everything affects your about. So this month you want to stay on your toes when it comes to decision. Make a decision and stay in the same attitude. Do not switch your attitudes this month because it could cause depression. And, and and then you can start feeling like you'll never have a match. Or, you know, as I get later down in my years, I want to have a relationship. And I can't have one because I keep on thinking about this. You have an idea of what you want a man to be perfect. I do understand. That can get, that can tend to get a person down. So you're going to have to accept people for who they are. I'm talking about males. I'm talking about the males that are in your life in July. This two-sided guy, he ain't all that. And he don't seem to have it together. But it's coming up for you and him. And it looks okay. Don't worry about it. Take small steps. There's someone coming up with the last name B-L-A-C-K. I just keep hearing this like black. I give you this name, B-L-C-K, okay? You want commitment? It's going to come for you this year. I see this relationship taking a saggy direction, meaning it's going to be slow and slow building, 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 building up to happiness so you can have room for other areas in your life. Go with this two-sided fellow that just came see. You're going to understand where I'm taking you. You don't want the other one. The other one don't even, he ain't even trying to show you no love. He's just sitting back in the Cadillac. You see what I'm saying? He's sitting back waiting to see what you're going to do. Let him do that. And while he does that, get back with whoever this individual is. He's two-sided. I want to say something happened to one side of his body. Or, or he could be just left-handed, something like that, that relationship. It just keeps talking about it. That's why I keep going on about it because it's significant for you. Also, in the upcoming time, um, I see what there's some issues with property matters that's going to get you down by the third week. And when I say get you down, you know you like stuff to be perfect. You know you like everything to go your way. Please be more open-minded and let this relationship show you their flaws and all. Everyone can be accepted. You're going to have to... Take things for what they are and make a decision and live with it because you have to move past your humps. If you don't move past your humps, you're going to relive them over and over again. And it's going to seem like you're in control, but you're yet to still finish learning lessons. It's just like you're moving forward and everything's going good, but you're just redoing. You're just reliving cycles. And you can perfect the cycle because you know it so well. Do you see what I'm saying? So this month, accept and open up to things that you know that you can control. And I'm talking about this relationship with this man and this property matter. It comes in, make a decision, and push through. Okay, that stack of papers has been pushed down. You know, he has these issues, but I have issues too. Let's push it down. Let me work with these things. Accept some things. Accept some things or it's going to feel like you're living in a cycle and you're always searching for something. And that's not what it is. You just haven't made a decision and accepted it and know that things weren't perfect. Not even for myself now. That nothing's perfect. And I do understand that perfect stuff. <laughs> Because if I had my choice, hmm, I probably would have been married a long time ago. But I'm very, I'm myself very nitpicky. And let me tell you how nitpicky I am. When I meet a guy, the first thing I look at is his shoes. If he don't take no quality in his shoes, he ain't going to take no quality in my time. I am fanatic for that. I, I know it's something weird, but I also have to break myself out of those habits. That's a very petty habit. But that's something that, you know, I, I do. I look at the shoes and they say a lot to me. I just don't know why. <laughs> but they do. And just like you want the perfect partner. You want, you know, you want someone that you can be able to control. Nothing's wrong with that. But you have to give 
if you want someone you control, you're going to have to give up some control too. You can have this relationship if you want. Whatever is going on with personalities and property matters and decisions and not wanting to be able to accept whatever this is towards the end of the month, it's going to bring more money for you. And let me tell you something. Whatever is going on the last 14 days of the month, end it. It has something to do with property matters, new beginnings, and what you want it to work out. And it will, but you're going to have to learn release first. You can't end without learning release. Once you learn this release within these next two weeks, by the end of the month, it ain't hard to say goodbye and acceptance and executing the next move. That's what, that's what needs to go on in June for you. One month, July for you. Uh, one moment while I do your August. One second. Okay, and this is what's going on for you. This is the next one. This is the next one. This is August. So what's going on in August is that there's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and um, end whatever you need to end with property matters, okay? Because um, it could easily be carried over into the next month. You know, just keep on thinking about it. Keep on thinking about it. ants, ills, what I should have did to end it and be done with it. Because by you continuing to think 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 is bringing in negative energies okay negative energies in your mind not in your life you see what i'm saying not wanting to, to to redo things not wanting to be more expressive not wanting to think out of the box not wanting to do plan b you see it stops you okay it totally stops you because you tend to worry quick you tend to worry after every thought, and we have to break that pattern. Learn what you need to learn the first two weeks in July. By the end of July, going into August, you'll be on your toes and ready to take action in every new thing that comes into your life. Relationships are going to start to pick up for you. I see more money keeping up coming in for you. Your cards say, watch out for this new money. Everything that comes into your life within the next three months, grab it and go. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. As I was talking about, tell her to grab it and go. Tell her to grab it and say, be watching out for this new income or watch your savings. There's something, no, there's something new coming in. Watch out for this new income. End it. Accept and go. Then right after that, there's new spiritualism, ideas, and thinking about love, doubting yourself in a relationship, not thinking that someone could be for you. You see what I'm saying? Learn what you need to learn the first three weeks. And these sadnesses and griefs won't be in your mind. Control how you think. Get out and walk. Be more express. Open up. You need to open up. That's all it is. It's like you in a box at the bottom of it. Squash down. You got to open up. You got to jump out that box real quick because you got a lot of things coming in. 7th through the 13th of July is fast energies. And let me tell you what fast energies are. Things will be dropping out of the sky. Very positive. If things drop out of the sky positive, then when you end that three months, there's going to be some things that you need to fix. So if negative things are happening now, 7th through the 13th, fast energy, that means you need to grab and go. Things are going to be coming in. I'll, whatever that you're wanting to do in fast energy, 7th through the 13th, go for it. You want a new home apply. You want a new car, go. You want to talk to somebody you ain't talked to in a long time, go for it. It's going to work. You want to end a relationship, work it. You want to buy a home, work it. You want to uh, you want to own your own business, it's going to speed up, but you have to be ready to move on it. And right now, the way it's looking, you want things to just work out for you. Not a problem. Don't miss out on this time frame. All these things that are worrying you, you could really gain them faster. 7th through 13th, okay? So we're at the 10th, so we got a couple of more days for you to grab some things. Positive things can happen within the next three days if you catch the vision, meaning I'm giving it to you. You've acknowledged it. Now go after what you want for the next four days. There will be positive things popping in, okay? Because it's going to me back. You're going to take me back. Tell her to watch out for new monies and save. And anything that's not spiritual. And when it talks about spirit, it talks about your thinking, the negative thinking, the perfection. Not thinking that thinking that love is always going to go opposite for you. You're going to hear a lot, a lot of loud noises because people seem to don't want to go to bed in the summertime. But it's all good. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of thinking in August. No, you're not going to be doing no movements. My advice to you, ma'am, whatever you are thinking, let them be thoughts and forget about it. Because these things seem to get you stuck. It makes you backtrack. It makes you backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. And think lower of yourself. 
you don't have a low self-esteem. You just worry too much. And then once you worry, you go into this inner sadness and it thwarts your movement. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just don't see it. When you start thinking about stuff, start eat, push further. Push further for what you want. Go out for what you want. You have love around you. We've solved that. New money is coming in. You may have to save a little. We've solved that. Your emotions is all about how you feel no matter what, ma'am. No matter what. Anything should be getting you down. But you still got to keep climbing the you got to sleep walking in the grass. You got to, I don't want to say climbing the pole. I, I, you know, I didn't want to say climbing the pole. I'm going to say climbing the pole. But I don't want you to think I'm being calling you a stripper. You know, these people take things so, you know, offensive these days. Climbing the mountain. Keep climbing the mountain, ma'am, please. I need you to do that for the next two months. Even for the next three months because you, you have to train your mind to be ever going. And you just train your mind to be sad when things aren't working your way. So that's the cycle you will live until you realize that change is every second. Ma'am, let me give you a, a little testimony. I had a channel for eight years. Eight years I worked my damnedest for. And it was taken from me. I didn't give up. I sat there for one day and I woke up the next day and I started planning for the next thing because I know if I sit in that, then I'll start pointing, 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 doing things, doing things, doing things, doing things. I just moved on it and moved up on it. And if you can see, my channel don't have much views, but I, I went back at it. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. And you shouldn't either. Don't give up on how you feel about you. You don't have low self-esteem. You think too much. You're going to have to do something to keep you climbing up the mountain. Motivate yourself, ma'am. Put positive quotes in your home. Put positive quotes in your car. You don't have to listen to spiritual music to get you in the mood. You got to do what motivates you and then move from there. You can't listen to church music when you're not motivating yourself. It's not going to help. All it's doing is entertaining you. Find a way to entertain yourself and then carry it. Carry it. Let that lead you. Okay? That's what's going on for you. You have lots of changes. You're going to have to get with it. This man does care about you. This man does care about you. This man does care about you. He does the two-sided one. That there's, He's either left-handed or something. Something is significant about his upper body, okay? Then the other, you're going to be having conversations with him. You're going to start seeing these relationships speed up in your life really fast. So that may be where your fast energies is. But the thing about fast energies are these relationships are going to be looking good. But you must not forget what you're supposed to be doing. Getting rid of one and incorporating the other one. The pretty boy that's waiting on you, just he's gonna be coming back. He's gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be like, oh, no, he ain't. No, he ain't. he gonna pop up at your house unexpectedly in August. He he even is gonna try to give you a gift or something. He's gonna try to give something. Or oh, there's gonna be some kind of gift giving or some kind of exchange. He's gonna take you a tool. He's gonna do something he usually don't do. Just remember that you are in fast energies and the plan has not changed. Thank you for the movie, but I can show you better than I can tell you. And that's going to have to be the attitude that you're going to have to take because you just can't tell this man or you would have been done it. Show him better than you can tell him. Go with this guy, this other guy. I know he ain't all of that and he has a little trouble with communication. This man can cook. He loves animals. He's as sweet as he wants. He ain't all of that, but he can grow with you. And he's willing to give himself to you if you wouldn't give up a little. See, you want to control him, but you got to let something go. You got to back up just a little bit, too. And I think that's more of what, what you really want, but you're seeing it as perfection. See what I'm talking about. See what I'm talking about, because I know I'm going to hear from you again. See what I'm talking about. Property matters are looking good, but there's something. Property matters are looking good. Property matters, because it's talking about people popping up. It's talking about unexpected new things coming in. Now, if you have a business plan, it's going to start working out towards the end of August, okay? Keep going with that. You're going to be celebrating it. Other than that, these pop-ups, know what you're supposed to do. Know your position. Keep staying in your lane, and you're going to see things develop in that lane. If you're going through places at one time, you ain't going to get nothing. 
But if you stay in one lane, ma'am, and, you, and you, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but if you incorporate some of these good things, some of these things in your direction, you're going to see a lot more come back to you. And make sure in the month of July and August you're giving back. It don't matter. Help yourself move forward. If you see somebody on the street this week, give them a dollar. I don't care if they do got Jordans on. Give them a dollar. Matter of fact, give them $5. You want to give three times a day for the next three days. Watch it come back to you, ma'am, because you're in fast energies. Receiving is the name of the game. God bless you, and I can't wait to see the new you.